Okay, so here's what we're going to need for round four. We're going to need um, a colour C, which is this lovely kind of jade green colour. It's called Beryl. We're going to need our crochet hook, a pair of scissors, bodkin, and of course, our project as it's progressing nicely. Right, so let me move these things out of the way. And what I'm also going to do is show you, this is, here's one I made earlier. I've waited my whole life to say that. Here's one I made earlier. Um, this round, I really like this round because this is where the really interesting stuff starts. If you can see, um, we're going to be crocheting sort of at the level of a normal level, working into the round before. So we're working into the top of the popcorn stitches. But what we're also doing is we're creating these long stitches here, which we're working into round two. So they're reaching all the way down past round three, back down to round two. That's what's creating these long stitches. They're just normal trebles, so there's nothing fancy about them. It's just that they're being made in um, the round, not the previous round, the one before that. And that's what's given it this lovely, look at it. It's kind of singling out the petals, if you like, of this flower, which we've made with the popcorn stitches. So yeah, we're gonna be working over the top of the popcorns and between the popcorns. So there's a couple of new, well, you know, a couple of techniques that we haven't discussed yet. One is working down into a previous row. We've got increases happening in the top um, of the popcorn stitch and I'm, I've closed this and we're going to close it again with the, the needle join technique which we've already talked about so we'll cover that off again quickly. Right then, here we go. So we're going to join in our colour C just as we have before but we're going to um, to join it into the top of any of these popcorn stitches. Um, doesn't matter where, you don't have to continue where you left off. And so I'm going to choose this one. And if you just put your hook in there, you'll see that there's a um, there's a hole and that's where we're gonna join in. Let's give it to that fluff. Right, so just as we've done before, we have a little tail and pick up the yarn. Pull it through and then make sure you're picking up the right the right side. Pick up again and secure it like that. Right, so we're gonna go and um, start our round. We've got two places to work into. We're gonna to work into the top of the popcorn stitches, obviously where I've joined here, and we're gonna work into these three chain spaces, which we made last time as well. Um, the increases, which we're, this, we're starting off with increases, an increase uh, of one in each stitch, which means we do one more than we ought to in each stitch. And in this case, is the stitch is the top of the popcorn. So we're gonna increase one in the top of the popcorn. To start with, we will do a chain to start. That will count as our first double crochet. And then we're gonna go in and do a second double crochet. Right, so that, to all intents and purposes, is two double crochet in there. And let's remember again, we're using UK terms. I don't know why I'm singing it, sorry. Right, now we're going to work into this three chain space. And this is where we're going to create that lovely long treble stitch to make things look a little bit special. So just start with just a normal double crochet into a chain space as you normally will. Before we go any further, I'm going to just get my needle and show you um, where your hook's going to go because I found it's clearer. You may be surprised to learn this is not the first attempt at this round. I got all the way to the end and realised I've missed a stitch. I've had to start again. I'm so sorry. Thankfully, this is not live. Right, so your treble, if every time you make a treble, you are going to be making it, as mentioned, into round two. So into our purple Bordeaux colour and that is where your hook is going to go. So if I turn that on the side you'll see your hook is going to go right in there, can't get it, right in there under both both bars of that stitch. It's quite difficult to show you and I can't, to be honest, see if you can see it because the <laughs> sun is coming into my window so much I can't really see, but that's where it's going to go. So should we give that a go then? Right, so this is a treble, yarn around the hook, hook right in under both loops in uh, round two. 
Now, when you're making this treble, don't pull it tight. I don't, don't try and finish it like that when it's all scrunched up. Just pull your hook up a little and let it come up to the natural height of the top of the popcorn stitch. That's how you're going to get that nice long effect, which reaches all the way down between the petals. Petals, I'm calling these petals. Let's call them petals, shall we? That's that done, and we'll just finish it off with another double inside a three, three chain space. So that is the, pat the pattern we're going to work going, going around uh, this round. So we're going to do two doubles at the top of each treble, and then we're going to do, sorry, two doubles in the top of each popcorn stitch. Then we're going to do double treble double. I'll say that again. Two doubles at the top of each popcorn stitch, double treble double. So it's quite straightforward. I'll do one more set and then I will whiz round and we'll come, we'll, we'll reconvene at the end. So hook in the top of the, in the, I'm doing well today, aren't I? Hook in the top of the popcorn stitch, one double crochet, but we're increasing. So we need to do a second stitch in the top there, two double crochet. Now we're going to go one double crochet into the three, three chain space. And now we're going to do that big long uh, treble stitch. So yarn around the hook. Oh look, you can see there. It goes in there. Pick it up and pull it up nice. Don't leave it tight and closed. Leave it up to the height at the top of the popcorn stitch. And finish it off. And then one more double crochet into the three chain space. Look, you can see it's already starting to form this really nice um, nice pattern here. So I'm just going to go around and finish that off. And you don't have to watch me. I might, if, um, if my husband is up to such editing wizardry, I might have him speed this up. We don't know. I'll be quiet though, because he won't want me banging on about it. I'll see you at the end. Okay, I've finished my round. Um, I've completed the last stitch, the last double crochet in the last three chain space. Um, and so now I'm just gonna go over the needle join again and we can move on. Don't forget this is how I'm doing the needle join and you can do your needle join however you choose. So I take my arm, um, no, this is not yarn, I take my hook out and I'm just gonna, sorry, snip the yarn. I'm going to thread up the bodkin. All right, so remember, I am going to just pull this a little, put my needle from back to front through the loop that I've, I've just had left there. And this stitch here that I've just made becomes stitch number one. So that needs to sit over the top of my, my starting chain here. And what I'm going to create here is stitch number two. So I'm going to follow this line with my needle. See, I'm going to follow the line of this stitch here. So I need to put my needle underneath because the yarn goes underneath. Pull this just so it sits neatly on the top of stitch number one and take my needle again. And I need my yarn to cover up there like that. Look. So it's going to go, my needle's going to go back in where it came out of. Push, push it straight down, I tend to push it straight down, give it a pull through. There you go. Ooh. Beautiful. Right, so I have just now got to weave in the ends and then we'll be good to go. Before we do that, before we move on to the next round, I'm gonna tuck that behind, but I promised I'll really weave them in. I'll show you when we start the next one. Please go ahead and count your stitches because <laughs> this is my second attempt here because I just counted my stitches and found I've missed one. So yes, that was round four. <laughs> 